we are back with another video. We got a lot of levels in this video. We'll go over GameStop, hit resistance level, all new levels and potential buying um, on GameStop. What I kind of see for it, AMC will go over, the cannabis sector, SNDL, Tilray. We'll also go over Tesla stock as well to see what's going on with that one. We'll go over in the video some of the AI stocks that I like. AMD crashed like crazy today. We'll also go over AVGO of what I told y'all on AVGO to watch out for. We're going to go over that as well. Very nice. We're going to go over Palantir also. Uh, gold, oil. We'll go over Bitcoin and the crypto stocks. I was going to make a longer video, though, but I'll keep this one probably short. At least 15 minutes or under. Um, yeah, so we'll keep it short. Tomorrow, I'll probably make a bigger video. Just running out of time. So, smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for being here. Let's get straight into it. So, Palantir uh it's pretty much stalled at this high area i am looking forward to pass through 30 all the way up to about 34 on the higher side as long as it continues this run and doesn't really break support right around that 28 dollars 15 cents that's the main thing i'm watching if you look at it it just really hasn't gone up but it really hasn't broke that support every time it goes below it it goes right back up to it below up below up so it is support is holding price right now you just want to be careful because it could have a big drop off that support level or it's going to continue back up we just don't want to get caught in the drop so that's what i'm kind of looking out for on palantir sofi stock is booming a little bit too much it hit my support level literally perfect at seven dollars and sixty cents i hope you guys saw that look support hit here Boop. support hit here Boop. a1 level that's why you never miss a video get the video 100 likes within five hours is all i ask smash that like button it'll take you one second it's right there in front of you just do it. So, SoFi stock hits a level perfect resistance, trying to break above that. SoFi stock, like I told y'all, it had to break above seven. What was it like seven twenty? Once it did that, I believe it was going to push up, and that's what it's been doing ever since. Now I'm just looking for a play. Remember, I don't want a free trade, so it's still the same levels. I'll leave it on here for now. I'm just trying to wait for a play. I won't be chasing price, so I would need some type of pull down to really try to get in on that one. Oh, uh, we can go over Chewy. Chewy stalled, hit a resistance level today at 27.50, and we had some pull down. So see what it does. If it breaks that resistance level, it'll probably push up more to around 30-ish dollars. But if it doesn't, it might just want to stay in this range right here and um, kind of just trade sideways in this range between support at 24.30 and resistance at 27.75. So if you're looking to play it, watch those major two levels. It'll kind of let you know what it wants to do. Again, not just financial advice, not just, uh, all this education purpose only. Don't trade, think you see in this video, you will lose money by listening. Um, so DJT, Trump Media, pulled down all the hype, right? After all the, sh uh, the shooting stuff. And then it came down. So just be careful this one. It literally dropped within two days. This is why you never want to chase price. You just want to wait for better pricing. About 21% in two, three days. So just be careful of that. I don't see any clear levels on it, and I don't see a play on it per se. We'll go over it um, every video to see if there's something, but for now, I don't see anything, okay? AMC stock, still stuck. It tried to break resistance today above 550. It tried. It went up and came right back down, and then it stopped that resistance level. So AMC hasn't broken out of these supports of resistance for a while, okay? About almost two weeks now. You need one of those to break to let us know where AMC wants to go. Point blank, period. GameStop pushed up. Remember I told y'all I want a red day, right? If I am looking to play GameStop, I want a red day, and I don't want to play it while it's already booming. I'd rather get it when it comes down so you can get a bigger profit and you can get price lower. So it made a high of about 20 something, $29. Where did I put resistance? $30 was resistance on GameStop. Look at the high. The high would be right here. The high was $29.79, 21 cents away from that resistance area, and it pulled GameStop down. And it's pulling it down back to the support, and it closed right at that support area. So what I'm going to do is levels are the same. And I want to see if we can pull down maybe to around 27-ish. I wouldn't mind getting some shares of it right here. And then, say I got it like around 27. If it broke 26, I'd probably just cut it, lose like 4%, or try to hold it to come back above and break that resistance level and maybe go to about 32, which is about an 18%. So almost a 5 to 1 risk reward, which isn't bad. That's how I'm probably looking to play GameStop. If we can get some pull down and maybe around 27 i can get in shares i'll play it like that so we'll see how it kind of moves tomorrow to see if i get in or not but that's what i see for gamestop um i don't believe it's going to push up until it breaks that resistance level at 30 then after it does that i believe you can get to like 32 no big price jumps yet 
we're, we're really not seeing like movements like this when it was pretty much easier uh, to play GameStop. We kind of just been a little laggy, soft up, nothing crazy going on right now on um, GameStop. Let's go over Tesla. So Tesla's starting to break down a little bit. It's about 248. It is breaking that support. So even though it's breaking it, it's testing it also. Like it just stays here. You see how it's just kind of been bobbling around all through the support. So tomorrow you want to see, does Tesla come back up to that support? If it does, that support is still working. If it doesn't, then expect a bigger pull down on Tesla to the low 240s, maybe even the 235s if, if it doesn't hold that support. So you could put level down here. That could be a green level. Um, if it doesn't test that support, it's probably going to end up down here tomorrow. And if it's down here tomorrow, it's probably going to continue going down to the low 220s um, to the lower side. So it seems like it wants to start breaking down. So we got to be patient on it. That's why I say in this area is really not the time to be trying to play swing calls and so forth. You want to know if it's going to really boost back up, which it has to break that resistance level at 267. Or is it going to continue this first drop and this was just a normal retracement? Remember, I drew it out for you in one of the Tesla videos. It's going to pull down and it's going to go up to resistance. It's either going to break resistance and come back down, find support. That's when I'm looking to get in on swing calls. Or it's going to hit resistance and it's going to fall down. Remember, I gave you all those two scenarios. That's exactly what's happening right now on Tesla stock. And it seems like that scenario of it continuing down is about to happen. So just be careful of that. That's how I'm looking at Tesla shorter term. Long-term buys, not just yet. I want to see what happens out of this range and see if it's going to pull down more or not, okay? NVIDIA. NVIDIA broke down, broke support. Remember what I told you yesterday? If it breaks support around 121, I'm looking for a NVIDIA stock to go around 118s, 117s in that lower range. Remember I said that. I'm looking for it to go down. It broke support, went down. It's about to hit my target price of about 116. Support on NVIDIA stock is all the way down here at about 111.10. So you basically move it down about $10. That is a new support on NVIDIA stock. Remember I told y'all I believe NVIDIA stock's going down here when it was all the way up here. So all we got to do is move it. Do -do 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 -do. That's why I believe NVIDIA stock is going down. I still get, I still think it has more downside to go. So I didn't scalp NVIDIA. We scalped other stocks. I'll show you here. We scalped actually Google put options. Um, but I told people you could look at NVIDIA. You could look at SPY to the downside. I called out a lot of plays also. Even though I don't play them all, I still call out what might be optimal for the day. But you can see you got 20% gains in literally like five minutes. Just make sure you join the team. The team will be closing on August 7th. It'll be closed for about a week and a half to two weeks. And then when I open it back up, the prices will be a little bit higher than they are now. Okay. So you got lifetime memberships, elite monthly, elite year, after pays available for elite year, lifetime memberships. And then you got personal training. If you want me to teach you personally, entries, exit, supports, resistance, strategic. Uh, you can join that. You can also use Afterpay to pay that monthly. And then the free long term. We're about to start that soon. Just waiting for people to get up in there. And then will not the you when I call. Make sure you email if you have any questions. Okay. So that's the video. Let's go to AMD. AMD pulled down like crazy. I almost played a shares on AMD somewhere in here. But we just waited. And it actually dropped more. So AMD is in a very particular spot right here. And it is a major resistance level. Right about 159.50. I mean, support level. You really don't want that to break. If that breaks, AMD's crashing right now, right? It is pulling down like crazy, which is actually good because if we can get AMD to like the 140s, the 130s, that's not a bad long-term buy I would like to do on AMD because what you want on AMD is you want to measure and move. The last time it dropped was about 66%. If you can get it below like 50% from the highs, that's not a bad time to kind of start long-term shares. And that 50% is taking us all the way to about one tenth. So is it going to get down there? We don't know. It just looks very bearish of what it's doing now. So watch that support around 159.50. I think we might see AMD stock probably below 140 to the 130s. Look at how it's looking now. Okay, so that's what I'm going to say where it's going. I'm going to say it's going to about 140 right now. Just look at how price is. So it's not really much to do with it. I probably scalp it. But other than that, no long plays or anything like that. Um, AVGO, like I told y'all, wait. Let the split happen. And we're probably going to get some type of pull down off this split. And it even looked like it wanted to go down here. What did you get today? Big drop on AVGO. Right. So let it drop. Nothing says the drop is done yet. Let it drop for now. There's no support. There's no um, resistance levels right now, AVGO. I'm just letting it drop, and I want to see when does it build support. That is what I want to buy. 
when it builds support. That's the main thing I'm watching right now. Okay, I don't have a clear support level just yet, so I won't write anything, but we're waiting right now. I'm patient on it. It's doing as expected, so that's good. The SP500, major thing you want to be watching this SP500 to know for the bigger crashes coming. Make sure you watch the video before this one. The video before this one, I let y'all know. It should pop up right up here. Um, I let y'all know what I'm looking at for SPY, everything, and it, and it helps with the market and direction of the market as well. So make sure you watch that video right before this one. Um, let's go over gold, man. So gold, told y'all it would push up. It just burnt down. Remember I told y'all where support was, 1885. This is Barack Gold, by the way. And where did you see it drop to? Went up, dropped down, right at that support area. So watch that support tomorrow. If it holds that support on gold, that might be an opportunity for me to get in to play gold back to the higher side and reach um, gold all the way up here around 21, that extra push. Remember what I told you, and I even wrote it out yesterday. We want that push up. We want the pull down to the support. And if support holds, we want that push up to the secondary run. Look, push up, push down to the support. And then now tomorrow, we're looking for that secondary run. So we'll see how um, gold wants to do in there. Oil, a nice little push trying to test resistance. It has to break it. It tested it many times before and it never broke. So it has to break that 6320. Seems like it wants to. But last time it seemed like it wanted to, it just dropped right back down. So just be careful of that. But once it starts breaking... Then I can see a nice old reversal trading old back up to like 67, 68 on the higher side, options and swings and so forth. So kind of watch out for that. Bitcoin had a nice little run, a little softer here. We got resistance at about 66,440. It almost hit that perfect right in that area and some selling pressure came off that. If we break back above like 65,400, we're probably going to be going to around the 68-ish on the higher side. So just kind of watch it. Support level is the same for now. Uh, that's kind of where I'm looking to build another position on Bitcoin. Also like Ethereum, Solana, and so forth. But once Bitcoin starts breaking 72,100, that's when I'll start making more videos on Bitcoin. We are accumulating our positions, so make sure you join the team. You also get my crypto buys and stock buys. Everything is probably live streamed as well. Um, but yeah, so building positions on those. Coinbase hit resistance today, 256. Remember I told y'all that's resistance. Hit that perfect today. We had some drop. I am looking to play Coinbase. I'm kind of just being patient on it. Same levels on Coinbase, though. I'm just kind of waiting to see when I want to buy. Just like MSTR, same level, support, resistance. I'm just waiting to see when I want to buy. Hood, running up. I'm waiting to see what I want to buy. Mara is moving. Yes, Mara is moving. I'm really not that interested. I told you I wanted to get 24 That was an opportunity. It literally ran up to like $27. Nothing yet on Mara that I like. I'm, I like more Riot, but I need Riot to get to 13 to 14s closer to 14s that's when i want to play it so it has a little more room to go and then we'll go over the play and then hut hit resistance perfect 21 dollars. let's go to the 15 minute chart look at that perfect hit and now we're looking for the pull down and i want pull down man if we can really get hut back around 18 maybe it's somewhere in this area so i'm just trying to see on the pull down when does it build support and that's probably when i get in on hut to see hut go to about 24 dollars so say we get it around 18.50 or so, that's about 27% gain on the upside that I would like. So that's what I'm kind of looking out for on HUT right now. We can go over SMCI. SMCI is pulling down like crazy. That's why I say just be careful of it. It really had to break that resistance level to show signs that it wanted to go up. I also told y'all be careful because it hasn't moved in months, so I don't really want to play it right now. And this is why, so you don't get trapped in here, right? You want to be a monster. You want to treat this as a game. You want to level up to beat the boss. The boss is actually yourself because you're the only one holding yourself back. The strategy you can learn right now, you can see everything. But you actually want to learn. So nothing yet. Um, support 779.35, resistance 986, nothing crazy going on SPCI. We'll kind of see what it wants to do, but for right now, it's kind of just going down, so we don't have to rush it per se, okay? Uh, I think I went over the major names that I wanted to go over. I think tomorrow I'll probably add more in there. So just let me know in this video what y'all want me to add in tomorrow's video, and then I'll try to add them in there, okay? But then you guys, oh, I forgot, cannabis sector. s and DL. Okay, so it hasn't moved. Support level, same levels on SNDL, nothing crazy. I believe once it breaks 235, it'll have like a bigger push. Not really looking to play SNDL. Tilray, uh, a little stalled. Once it breaks 210, might get interested. But the one I'm really looking at is Cron, C R O N. It hit resistance level today, about $2.50. 
pretty much perfect and then it dropped off that so it doesn't seem like it's ready to push up it has to break that resistance level push above it and then i might want to trade it to like 290 to three dollars on the higher side so thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to join the team first in that description uh the team closes august 7th for about a week and a half or two weeks and then when i open it back up all prices will be a little bit higher nothing crazy but it will be a little bit higher thank you guys for watching the video smash the like button subscribe if you're new and always remember no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only so do not trade anything you see or hear in the video i will catch you guys in the next one